about counting the cost because uh, Yeshua warns about following him. And uh, he, he wants the prospective Talmud to know what he's in for. And in uh, the Basur Sakelah, according to Matthew chapter uh, 7, verse, uh, actually uh, chapter 8, verse 20, foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the bar in Osh has nowhere to lay his head. And, and we're going to be in a homeless shelter tomorrow night. And I, I have to remind those people, look, Mashiach didn't have a home either. He was also, you might say, a homeless shelter resident. And the reason was he was in a, a wicked world and uh, everything was taken away from him. He came here to die, to give his life as a ransom for many and to set an example and, and, and even the basic things uh, that you might think uh, a man is responsible for in terms of his family, like burying your father. What does he say in uh, Matthew chapter 8, verse 22? Follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. So if you're a self-righteous Pharisee, it might be easy for you to judge people and judge their sacrifices. And it says, judge not lest ye be judged. And it also warns about the leaven of the Pharisee. Not just the hypocrisy, but the teaching of the Pharisee. The, the Pharisee said, look, I'm going to sit here ex cathedra, uh, based on the traditions of my fathers, and I'm going to tell you uh, right doctrine. And it's going to come out of my mouth uh, based on my rabbinic uh, pedigree and my, uh, my great learning, and you're going to have to listen to it. But uh, the, the teaching of Yeshua was not like this. His teaching was from the Holy Spirit. And it was in accord with the Bible. And it, it was not according to the leaven of the Pharisees. And, and he, he warned those Pharisees. And he warns you and he warns me, don't become a Pharisee. And, and uh, when it comes to the cost of discipleship, uh, he says, let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and preach the gospel of God. In other words, you may have to leave a wife or children or family, and you, you may have to give up things, and, and it may not be easy for you. You may be tested. You may suffer many things for the gospel. Uh, but here's, here's the warning. This is found in Luke chapter 9, verse 62. No one having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Satan will try to corrupt you. He will try to make you double-minded. He will try to make you look for something in this world. And you will look back. Remember Lot's wife? Many people leave the ministry. Oh, yeah, I, I tried the ministry. I was in the ministry for a few years. But now I'm an insurance salesman. Or now I'm into something else. What would it take to lure you out of the ministry? Listen, I have to put out 20,000 tracks. And all over the Northeast. And... Satan would love to hinder me right now. He'd love to say, oh, you know, you're too ill. Or you're, you're too old. Or you're too this. Or you're too that. Or it's too hard. Uh, and he would like to talk me out of it. Uh, but no one having put his hand to the plow. You see, you must put your hand to the plow and not look back. You must... 
You must plow a straight furrow for the Lord. You must make a good finish. You must endure to the end. You must make your calling and election sure. You must see to it that you fulfill your ministry. And, and let me tell you something. Jewish ministry is a thankless ministry. Because uh, many people will give up. After all, we believe in the restoration of Israel. We, re re we believe in Romans 11. That all Israel will be saved. That the hardening is only in part. And that after the fullness of the Gentiles come in, then the Jewish people will start to open up. And you'll be hearing more and more. Did you hear about Rabbi so-and-so? He's now a believer. Did you hear about the, the Rebetzin uh, over at this shul? She's now a believer. Uh, and it's going to happen. The Bible is clear that it's going to happen. So don't get proud against the Jewish people, Mr. Gentile. Don't say that you are a Jew when you're not, when your mother wasn't, when you don't have that genealogy, when it doesn't go back to Abraham. Don't think that being an Israelite is something to boast about because the Israelites were rebels. And Paul said, Am I not an Israelite, but I'm the chief of sinners? But these rebels are going to come to faith, so don't become an anti-Semite. Don't take their prerogatives. Don't call yourself a Jew and, uh, and foreclose on the promises made to them. Don't get proud. Don't think that you're something when you're nothing, because if you do, you're deceiving yourself. But take the lowest seat and do what you can to, in a humble way, spread the seed, plant the good seed. God will help you. He will help you. When you're weak, when you feel like you can't do it, there have been times when I didn't feel like going to the homeless shelter. But somehow or another, God would just give me the strength to go down there. And sometimes I didn't even have a, a message, and the Lord would give me one. And sometimes there weren't that many people in the homeless shelter. And, and some of our, our team would feel like it was uh, a waste of their time to come for just two or three people. Uh, but the Lord wants us to be faithful with little things and not murmur and not complain, but to, to endure hardship and do the work of an evangelist. And there are uh, only a few days for us to work. Night is coming when no man can work. Uh, in New York last night, there was some activity that looked a little bit like terrorism. Some of the bombs looked like the bombs used at the Boston Marathon. The, the Boston Marathon where uh, there was a pressure cooker type bomb. I think they found something like that. And so these things are coming. So night will come when no man can work. But while it is day, while we can preach, we must preach to the Jew first. And that means the ancient people of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob who came from Mesopotamia. Uh, I'm talking about Rivka or Rebecca. I'm talking about... Uh, Leah and Rachel are talking about the daughters-in-law uh, that, that were married to the sons of Abraham. Don't say that's who you are. And listen, even if you are Jewish and your mother is Jewish, you have to make sure that you are com a completed Jew. Yes, you must make sure that you have the circumcision of the heart that you are circumcised on the inside. If you're a heathen at heart, what good does it do that you have a certain genealogical connection to a Jewish mother? So did uh, Karl Marx. So did Trotsky. So did many mass murderers. They are not going to be honored as Jews in heaven. And friend, uh, make your calling and election sure. Lord, I want to pray right now that you will deliver people from cults. 
If they are in some group that does not believe in the deity of the Mashiach, does not preach his deity in the Tanakh where it's clearly found, if they deny the, uh, the Kedusha HaMesh Leshet of Hashem, uh, Elohim Ha'av, Elohim Ha'ben, Elohim Haruch HaKodesh, if they deny that salvation is by grace alone, if, if they uh, deny the restoration of Israel, that these blind uh, uh, sons of, of Israel, these lost sheep of the house of, 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 of Jacob will come back to, to, to the Lord. They will be redeemed by the Redeemer in the end. Uh, every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and, they will, they, and all Israel will be saved. It, 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 if they deny these, these doctrines... They are not the true Kehillah of God. And I pray, dear God, that you will do something to shake people up and get them out of their stupor and deliver them from false prophets. In Yeshua's name, amen.